Hello, hello. Wow. Qué hello, puntuales. Teacher. Catherine and Sandra. Excellent. Just on time. Hi, class. How are you today? I can see Jorge and Catherine and Sandra. Hi, Sandra Cecilia. How are you today? <clears throat> You're great today. Yes. I'm okay. I, You're okay? I have, uh, quit. You're having a so, quiz? Okay, escuché. Yeah. Yes. Really yes, good. Okay, hi, Rebecca. Okay, don't worry, Sandra Cecilia. So, wait. Let's wait for your classmates. <clears throat> Class, desde ya, eh, igual, les pido disculpas si me agarra tos desde el domingo, andado con gripe. Ayer estaba bien, ahora, créanme, empecé con la clase anterior igual, a sentirme con la garganta, en serio, bien, bien, pues se caí a estornudar y a toser, pero no, aquí estamos, eso no nos va a detener, ok, let's start with the class right now, I'm going to do my best, ok, lo mejor para que podamos tener esta clase, ok, class, so let's wait for your classmates, un minuto más, y le damos con todo, ok, let me get ready with the Attendance. Mientras yo preparo la lista, esperamos a sus compañeros. Here we go. <coughs> oh, let me check. Mm. Por aquí estoy viendo el progreso que tenemos. Homework number one, two, three, and four. Section number one, two, three, and four. Ahorita puedo ver que, let me see. Mm, yes. La mayoría, sí. Ya hemos hecho sección 1, 2 y 3. Section 1, 2 and 3. But please don't forget, if you notice, each section has different exercises. Cada sección tiene tres o cuatro knowledge checked. Tiene cuatro partes que dicen knowledge checked. ¿Ok? Chequeo de conocimiento. Si ustedes solo completan una o dos partes, les va a quedar el porcentaje a la mitad, ¿ok? Tratemos de siempre chequear, estar seguros de que han eh, respondido las diferentes partes de cada sección para que resume el 100%, porque veo aquí algunos que tienen solo el 25% de alguna sección, el 33% de otra sección, el 67%. Entonces, please, class, go and check asegurémonos que cada sección está completada al 100%. ¿Ok? ¿Yes? ¿No? <coughs> Say yes, please. <laughs> yes, me. Okay. Great, great. So, I'm still missing your cameras, Christian, Ana Karina, Roxana, and let me check the chat. I forget to check the chat sometimes. Algunas veces olvido, veamos. Teacher. Tell me. Pido permiso para estar con la cámara porque por el momento no he llegado todavía a casa, pero yo después okay. la activo. Muy bien, Ana Karina, gracias. ¿Quién más tenemos acá? Let me see. Juana. Juana me escribió. Bien, ¿alguien más me ha escrito? No. Ok, class, so we're going to start the class right now. As I mentioned before, listen. Ok, vamos a tratar de no forzar tanto la voz, pero aquí estamos, ready for the class. So, what do we have for today? Do you remember the topic from yesterday? What were we practicing yesterday, class? What were we practicing? Food. Food vocabulary, food vocabulary, and the pyramid, the pyramid. So look at the topic for today. We are still have section number four. Broccoli is good for you. In this class, we are going to practice the use of some and any. And if we still have time, we are going to cover the adverse of frequency. If not, we are going to take this topic for the first part of tomorrow's class. 
si aún nos queda tiempo, vamos a cubrir todo lo de adverse of frequency. This is session number 10. And here we have, here you have my name, okay? Don't forget my name. So what is the first activity for today? Let's go to the platform. Let's go and check the first video. Check the first video, okay? Video that is um, 4.3. Aquí vamos, okay? There we go. <clears throat> Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Okay, okay. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled How about some sandwiches, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, Let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. 
So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, great. Let's go back to the use of some and any. Here we have the same chart. And if you notice, yesterday we were introducing this topic and we were saying this. We are going to use, yo les explicar esta regla, okay? As a general rule, we are going to use some for affirmative sentences and any for questions or negative. And, y me comentaba, I don't remember who was it, me decían, Miss, pero ahí en el video me están diciendo, do we need some eggs? No crean, me fui a investigar toda la noche, no me quedé en calma hasta saber si es correcto o no lo es. Do we need any eggs? What did I find out? Look, we can use some, podemos usar some, cuando hacemos una pregunta, como en este caso, solo si estamos 100% seguros que la respuesta va a ser afirmativa. ¿Ok? Yes. We need some eggs. But it's not common. Uh -uh. No es común tener el uso de do we need some para preguntas. ¿Ok? No. No es común. Hagamos algo. En este nivel que estamos de inglés, vamos apenas eh, introduciendo tal vez el uso de some and any y algunas reglas gramaticales. Prefiero yo que nos quedemos con la regla general y la que es usada. ¿Ok? That we are going to have some for affirmative and any for questions and negative sentences. ¿Ok? Cuando usamos some en una pregunta es más que todo con otros modal verbs. Por ejemplo, el título de la lectura era How about some sandwiches? Si se fijan, estamos usando otra estructura. Usamos, en este caso, how about, how about. No estamos usando do. Esta es otra estructura y es una, en este caso, como invitación. How about some sandwiches? Vamos a tener un picnic. How about some sandwiches? Oh, y para la cena o para el cumpleaños, ¿qué podemos hacer? How about some sandwiches? Es una sugerencia. Si se fijan, estamos usando el do. Miren, les doy otro ejemplo. Can I have... Some sandwiches. Miren, igual. Can request. Estoy pidiendo. Can I have some sandwiches? Ah, aquí sí. Cuando utilizo el can, el modal can. Estoy pidiendo. Have about. Es una sugerencia. En el caso de do. En mi caso, créanme, de todos los años que tengo de hablar inglés y usarlo, la regla general que yo siempre he usado y que la mayoría he usado siempre es any for questions, for negative. This is not so common, ok? It's not. Solo si esperamos una respuesta 100% afirmativa. So, class. Para que no nos confundamos, tenemos un exercise. We have an exercise. And this is going to be a speaking practice, a very nice speaking practice, because this is a conversation. What do we have here? Kate and Jane. This is a conversation that we are going to complete. But before, let me check the attendance list. Voy a chequear la attendance list. Let me see. No, Jennifer, ahorita vamos a pasar la lista. Hi, Yesenia, buenas noches, teacher. Gracias, buenas noches. Aquí vamos, chicos. 
please. Here we go. You can say here or present. Today is the 29th. Wow, ya se nos va a acabar el mes de marzo. 29th. Adriana Gretel González. Present. Excellent. Ana Karina Orellana. Present. Ana María Saz. Present. Carlos Alberto Cabrera. Present. Carlos Alberto Villalobos. Cristian okay. Adonai Ramírez. Is Cristian in the class? Yes, Excellent. There you are. Great. Cristelia Rosalina Jiménez. Here, teacher. Cristian Alberto Reyes. Do I have Christian Alberto in the class? Yes. Very good. Edgar Francisco Galeano. Present. Eric Gifredo Hernández. Present. Jennifer Mercedes Hernández. Present. Joaquín Antonio Chévez. Present. Joana Beatriz Rivas. Present teacher. Very good. Jorge Alberto Hernández. Here. José Armando Hernández. Present teacher. Juana Beatriz Díaz. Present teacher. Catherine Larisa Sánchez. Present teacher. Kevin Alexander Hernández. Present teacher. Marlon Ovidio Sánchez. Present. Okay. Rebeca Abigail Calderón. Present teacher. Okay. Roxana Beatriz Marroquín. Present. Samuel Eduardo Pineda. Present teacher. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Present. And Yesenia Claribel Cruz. Present teacher. Very good. Alguien que no haya mencionado, o todos, estamos presentes, creo, ¿verdad? Wow. Yes, we are. Muy bien, clase. Todos estamos presentes. Bien. So, as I mentioned before, let's have a practice about the use of some and any. And I was telling you that we are going to use some for Affirmative. Let's write here the rule. Affirmative. And we are going to have any for. Yes. Tell me. Click on me. Negative or for Okay. Sure. Okay. Very good. Negative. Or question. Or if we want to call it interrogative. Okay. Interrogative. Very good. Affirmative and any for negative or questions or interrogative. Viendo dicho eso, veamos. Let's look, let's find out and analyze this conversation. We have Kate and Jane. Look at the first expression. Oh, they don't have. Is this an affirmative, negative sentence or is it a question? What is it, class? Mm -hmm. Negative. 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 Tenemos algún signo de interrogación al final? Question mark? No, right? No. So, what are we going to use? Some or any? Any. Any. Look. Any. Very good. Oh, they don't have any potato salad. But we have lots of potatoes at home. Miren la siguiente Oración, is this an affirmative, negative, or interrogative sentence? What is it? Affirmative. Okay, affirmative. so what are we going to use for affirmative? Uh, yes. Yes. Quiero escuchar los seguros. Some or any? Yes. Some. Yes. Some. Some. 
Let's make okay. some. Great. Do we have? Do we have? Miren, aquí empieza la oración. Many. Do we have? Oh, it's a question. So what are we going to use? Yes, Marlon. Um, any. 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 Why? Any. Why any? It's a question. Do we have any mayo? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Any. Great job, class. Now, we need to buy. Aquí empieza la oración. Okay. We need. To buy is this an affirmative, negative, or interrogative? Affirmative. No. So no. what are we going to use? Some. 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 Excellent job. Some. And then we have, and we need, and we need. Some. 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 Um, uh -huh. Look, this is affirmative. We need, so this is an affirmative. So what are we going to use? Some. 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 Onions. Very good. Some. And we need some onions. Oh, no. I don't want. Look at this expression. I Any. don't negative. want. Negative. Any. Any. So, Any. It's negative. So what are we going to use? Yes. yes. Any. yes. It's negative. It's negative. negative. Y tenemos don't, ya está negando. I don't want any onions in the salad. I don't want any onions in the salad. Do you like onions in the salad? ¿Te gusta la cebolla en la ensalada? Do you like onions yes. in the salad? Yes, yes. I like. Yes, yeah, right. Can you mention some salad that we have with onion? Give me some examples. ¿Qué ensaladas comemos con onions? Chimol, no sé cómo se dice. Chimol, ya chimol. Cebollas. Fresh salad. Fresh, fresh salad, ok. Muy bien. So, yes, this is just an example. So, now, I don't want any onions in the salad. Ok, don't worry. Let's get. Look, aquí empieza nuestra siguiente oración. Let's get. Is this an affirmative, affirmative. affirmative. question? Affirmative. affirmative. So what are we going to use? Affirmative. Some. 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 Todos participando. Quiero sentirlo seguro de lo que estamos haciendo. Let's get some. Mm, no. I don't want any. any. This is a yeah. negative expression. Mm. Negative. Negative. Exactly. So, yeah. what are we going to use? Any. 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 I any. don't want any celery. Any. What is the meaning of celery? What is this one? Celery. Mm -hmm. Do you know lechuga. what is the meaning of this one? No, it's not lechuga. No. Mm. What is it? I remember you use apio. Apio, exactly. Celery. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry. Let's get some celery. Consigamos celery. Mm -mm. I don't want any celery. So I have an idea. What is the idea? Look. Let's put. Yeah. Some very good teacher. This is some. You see, you digo, no, it's any. Mm -mm. It's some because this is an affirmative. Let's put some apples in it. Are you serious? Apples in potato salad? Well, okay. So let's read. Let's read the conversation between Kate and Jane. Let's start with Jennifer Mercedes. Go. Read the first expression with Kate. Okay. Oh, they don't have any potato salad. Great. Carlos Alberto Villalobos, continue. Carlos Villalobos. Hello, I'm sorry. 
Okay, don't worry. Go, go. Would we, would we ha have lots of potatoes at home? Let's make some. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's repeat. Potatoes. Potatoes. Let's repeat. Potatoes. Uh -huh. Let's okay. make some. Joanna, let's, please let's continue. Make let's make some. Great job, Carlos. Joanna, continue. Great. Do we have any mayonnaise? Okay, one more time. <laughs> Great. Right. Do we have do we any have? do we have any mayonnaise? Okay, great. Joaquin, go ahead and continue. <laughs> no, we need to buy some and we need some onions. Wow, excellent. Samuel Eduardo, go ahead, please. Kate. Oh, oh no, I don't want any onions in the salad. Okay, Sandra, it's your time to practice. Okay, don't worry. Let's get some celery then. Excellent, very good. Uh, Rebecca, Kate. No, I don't want any celery. I have an idea. Let's put some apples in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, class, let's repeat. Idea, 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 apples, apples, idea and apples, very good. No, I don't want any celery. I have an idea. Let's put some apples in it. Adriana, please, finish. Are you serious? Apples in potato salad? Well, Okay. Well, okay. Class, is this exercise clear or do we have questions about the exercise? Is it clear? I am clear. clear. Are you sure? Yes, sure. I am. Veamos si es verdad. Edgar, number two. Oh, they don't have any potato salad. Continue. <laughs> Which one, sorry? Jane. Okay. But we have lots of potato at home. Let's make uh, some. Very good, Let's make some, Jose Armando, continue. Mm -hmm. Kate. Great. Uh, do we have... Um... Any mayonnaise? Great job. Christian Adonai. Go. Jane. Mm -hmm. We need to buy. Some or any. Some. I guess you're having problem with your microphone, right? So let me see. Cristelia, please. Cristelia, can you continue with Jane? The same exercise. Perdón, estaba hablando con el micrófono apagado. Okay, go ahead. Okay, sería, uh, sería some. But read the complete expression, please. No, we need to buy some and we need some onions. Excellent, Marlon. Go ahead, please. Uh, okay. Oh, no, 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 yeah. Okay, don't worry. Let's get any celery then. Uh -huh. One more time. Let's get any or some. Any. Why any and not some? It's negative. Don't worry, let's go. Ah, so, be careful. So, I'm Tengamos sorry. Cuidado, miren. Okay. Primera oración termina acá. Punto. Veamos la segunda oración. Empieza acá. Ok. Tengamos ese cuidado. Vamos otra vez. Please. Kate or Jane? Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Jane. Ok. Uh, ok, don't worry. Let's get it. Let's get it some celery then. Great job. Now you got it. 
Kevin Alexander, continue, please. Kate. Okay. Uh, okay. No, I don't want any still learning. I had an idea. Great, I don't want any salary. Ana Maria, can you please continue? Let's, let's put some apples, apples uh -huh. in it. Very good. And Christian Alberto, finish please. Are you serious? Upward in potato salad. Well, okay. Well, okay. Very good. So pronunciation. Pronunciation. This one. How do you pronounce this one, class? Everybody, how do you pronounce this one? Potatoes. 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 Very good. Potatoes. How about this one? Mayo. 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 O a veces solo decimos mayo. When I get some mayo, it's in the end, okay? Uh, celery, celery. 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 Idea. 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 Apple. Apples. Apples. Serious. 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 Very good. So what are we going to do? This is the time for you to... We are going to get together in pairs. We are going to practice the conversation, okay? Kate and... Who is the other one? And Jane. Okay? And Jane. Uno empieza leyendo Kate, Jane. Kate, Jane. And so on. Al finalizar, we switch roles. Cambiamos de rol al finalizar, ¿ok? Speaking practice, please. Correct your classmates in pronunciation. Uh, if they have questions, help each other, ¿ok? <laughs> This is the purpose for the breakout rooms. Ayudémonos entre todos. So here we go. Let me see. Here we go. <clears throat> Wait. Okay, I'm ready. Go class. Se los envío a WhatsApp right now. The conversation. Please practice the use of some and any. Here we go. Some and any. Very good. I'm just missing Christian, Juana, and Roxana. Very good. I'm just missing Christian and Juana. Christian, are you having problems? Very good. Solo me queda Christian. Vamos, Christian. Go, Christian. Okay. Time to practice. Okay, you can check the picture. No tengo la pantalla. Está en WhatsApp. Okay, class. Podemos ir a chequearla. Go. Mm, no, hay como teacher. Bien, yo les ayudo, don't worry. Let's practice. Give me a second. Vamos, yo estoy para ayudar, chicas. Go. Can you see my screen now? Do you okay. see? Okay, go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ana, okay. you're going to be Kate. And Roxana, Jane. 
Cook. Okay. Oh, they don't have any potato salad. But we have love on potato at home. Let's make some. Great. Do we have any mayo mayonnaise? No, we need to put some and we need some onions. Oh no, I don't want any onion in the salad. Okay, don't work, let's get some celery day. No, I don't want any celery. I have an idea. Ah, perdón, let's put eh, some apples in it. Are you serious? Uh, apples in pota potato salad will okay. okay. Well, okay. Well, okay. Let's repeat mayo, mayonnaise. 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 <laughs> mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise. So, mayonnaise. Please try to check your WhatsApp and continue practicing. Hasta que se sientan seguras okay. de la pronunciación. You are doing a great okay. job. Thank you. Cristian, le vamos a mandar a Cristian ahorita. So you can practice. Si alguien puede compartir pantalla también, sería perfectísimo. Ajá, sí, yo porque no puedo. Ok, ok. Me lecme. Sorry. Ok. Ray, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some and we need some onions. Oh no, I don't want any onions in this salad. Okay, don't worry. Let's get some celery then. Okay, don't worry. Let, let's get some celery then. No, I don't want any any salary i have an idea let's put some apples in it are you serious apple in potato salad well okay okay now switch switch roles and continue practicing you're doing a great job adriana and karina excellent thank you welcome You start. What happened? Uh, okay. You. You start. Okay, okay. Oh, they don't have any potato salad. But we have a lot of potato at home. Let's make it some. Great. We don't have any potato. In the hospital. I'm here. Yes, Juana, dígame. Entiendo muy bien. Teacher, una pregunta. Dígame, no le... Por lo que medio le logré comprender sí. ahí cuando corregí al compañero. Uh -huh. Él decía que era any, y usted le dijo que era son. Ah, eh, las oraciones van, va, o sea, mi pregunta, no sé cómo, cómo decirlo para que me entienda. No, vamos, trate de, de hacerla y vamos a responderla, don't worry. Lo que pasaba, eh, Marlon leía esta. Él decía, Ajá, okay. ok, don't worry. Y yo le decía, ah... Esta es la primera oración. Si se fijan, aquí está el punto. Ajá, ajá. El punto nos indica que la primera oración, ahí termina. Entonces, no vayamos a... Que porque la primera oración es negativa, voy a poner any. Uh -uh. Miren, la segunda oración empieza acá. Y esta sí es afirmativa. Es por eso que ponemos acá son. Okay. Son dos oraciones diferentes. Sí es cierto que van en la misma conversación, pero it's a different idea. Son dos oraciones diferentes, ideas diferentes. Okay. 
Eh, bueno. Sería como estamos en la segunda. Vale, ok, don't worry. Ahí se acaba esa oración. Ah. No necesita. Entonces aquí, let's get some. ¿Por qué? Porque mi oración es afirmativa. Si no tengo un signo de interrogación al final, significa que no es interrogativa. Y no tengo ningún auxiliar que me la esté convirtiendo en negativo, entonces significa que es afirmativo. ¿Okay? Por eso es que es stone. Si ¿Sí está claro, chicas. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, y gracias, Juana, también por el esfuerzo que está haciendo. Entiendo, entiendo. Mm. Tu caso ahorita. Bueno. Creo que todo mejore. Ay, gracias. Ok, ya sabe que estamos para apoyarlo, chicas. So, continue practicing, please. Gracias. Ay, gracias. La mezcla. Una buena mezcla, manzana con, uh, con, con papas. Papas con cebolla. Ajá. Mm, y ese que sí, yo, yo he probado, solamente que yo le he comido, pero con, con mayonesa. Que es un Ajá. tipo de ensalada. En In inglés. I'm going to send you, les enviaré a Kristen Alberto, so you can continue practicing. Okay. Please, in English, I like potato salads, I don't like. Wait, wait, wait. Otra vez, enviamos a Kristen. Se me salen de la sala, chicos, ustedes. So continue practicing, please. Ya vamos a volver al grupo en dos minutos. Okay. okay. Continue, please. Eso es de la duda. Hi, class. Did you Hola, finish? teacher. Somewhere in Kevin. <laughs> sí. Yes. Sí, ya, ya practicamos. Oh, and now you're talking about the conversation. Ahorita están hablando de some and any, right? Sí, ya, ya estuvimos practicando. Yes. La, oh, la wow. Excellent. ¿eh? In one minute. Volvemos en un minuto. Solo estoy visitando okay. a sus compañeros. Continue okay. practicing in vocabulary as well. Okay. Go. Okay. Okay. Finish. Did you finish practicing? Um, <laughs> yes, is a review practice. Okay, about pronunciation, oh. the use of some and any. Some and any, okay. Ah, okay, interesting. Okay, continue <laughs> practicing. Okay. We are going back in one minute. En un minuto volvemos a la sala principal, okay? Debo más hacia el español. Ah, class, I'm here. ¿Y lo ve? Sí. Questions. Ah, ok, oh, great job. Yes, you can complete there. Complétenlo nuevamente y cualquier pregunta me llama, ok? Continue. Vaya, okay. está. You finish. Sandra, en Cristelia, did you finish, girls? Finish, teacher. You finish? Yes. Yeah. Great. So let's go back to the main station. I'm just meeting to visit the groups. Okay. Did you finish? Rebe and Joaquin? Yes. Yes? Yes. So questions about pronunciation, the use of some and any or not? In, in, in my case, it's the cabal of the words apple. Potatoes. Apple, potatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Ya vamos a practicar Don't worry. Apple and potatoes. So let's go back to the main session now. Mm -hmm. uh, are you okay? Hi, class. You're you are okay. Oh, creo que ya estuvo, ¿verdad? You finished. Okay. Oh, seguimos, ¿cómo? No, sí. if you finish, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Vamos a la sala principal. Okay. Finish. We need to buy some and we need some onions. Oh no, I don't want any onions in the salad. Okay, don't worry. Let's get some celery then. No. I don't want any celery. 
I have an I did you have time to practice? Yes, no. Vocabulary that you need to reinforce the pronunciation. No. No. Wow, excellent. So it means <laughs> you're doing a great job. Significa que lo estamos entendiendo full. That's okay. Okay, mm. let's go back. So look, if you go to the platform, go here, knowledge check, point four, four. Here we have like a similar conversation and let's do the same, okay? You are going to do the same. Please identify, identifican siempre, is this an affirmative sentence, negative or interrogative? Affirmative. Affirmative. So what are we going to use? Some. Some or any. Some, some, some. some. Okay. And so on. Y así vamos a responder eh, this exercise. The knowledge check from 4.4. Este es el ejercicio 4.4. What happened? <laughs> okay. Vamos a completar esto. Yo creo que ya estamos listos para completar este ejercicio. Okay. Great job. So, let's move on to the next topic. This is a conversation. But let's try and Bravo, first, before we move on. Pollo, no sé. Mira, mira ahí. La Abby me agarró aquel día pescado, así que agarrémosle pollo ahí. Okay. Vamos a hacer un cambio. Let's get some chicken. Okay. Yeah. I want to eat fish. No, no chicken, right? Fish. No. Ah, claro. Se le olvida el micrófono. Está bien. Está Mayo, 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 Las cosas que nos pasan a veces. Mayo, mayo, mayo. Let's repeat. Mayo, 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 onions, onions, potato, no potato, 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 jamás, potato, potato. Ahí escuché potato y no, 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 apple. Apples. 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 Great. So this was a very nice conversation in a great practice. So don't forget that we are going to use some for affirmative sentences and for negative and interrogative sentences. We are going to use any. <clears throat> so look what we have right now. This is a very nice topic, a very interesting conversation. Great. Fans, tell me. Yes, Jennifer. Oh, Jose, question. ¿Quién dijo preguntas? Yesenia. Okay. Yo, uh, ahí donde dice idea se pronuncia ah, idea. Idea, idea. Ah, okay. Spanish, idea. English, I. Recordemos que la I en inglés es I. Idea, idea. Muy bien. Any other questions? Ok, we move on. Oh yeah, we still have time. So breakfast around the world. Breakfast around the world. Look, we have a list of like dishes that people have in United States, Pan and Costa Rica. Let's see if we have similarities or not. Let me ask Jorge. Jorge, please, can you read what do people have for breakfast in the United States. What do they have for breakfast? Leamos, ¿qué tienen de para el desayuno? United States. They have cereal with milk, fresh fruit, fresh fruit. orange juice, uh -huh. coffee, and pastries. And pastries, very good. How about people in Japan. Let me see, Edgar Francisco, can you try, please? Okay, and the first one, fish, rice, soap, pickles, green tea. Uh -huh. Pickles, pickles, what is the meaning of pickles? I don't have idea. For example, if you get a hamburger, sometimes we have pickles. 
Pepinillos. Bueno, vamos, pepinillos, muy bien, pepinillos. Do you like pickles? Because I don't. I don't like. I don't like. I don't, right? Son como amargo, creo. But I don't like them. So, that is what people have in Japan. How about Costa Rica? Remember that Costa Rica is in Central America. So, we can have similarities. Let's see. Costa Rica. Carlos Cabrera, can you please help me out? Reading about Costa Rica yeah. breakfast. Rice and beans, eggs, red peppers, bananas, coffee with milk. Wow, imagine red pepper. Do you like to eat red peppers for breakfast? No. <laughs> no, right? Red peppers. What is the meaning of red pepper? ¿Qué es eso, claro? ¿Qué es red pepper? Chile picante, chile rojo. Será. Chile chile rojo. Es el chile, chile en sí. El picante. Chile rojo. Mm. En sí es, ¿cómo le llamamos nosotros acá en español? Chile, ajá, chile, el que le ponemos a, a veces a los tomates, a los frijoles y todo eso. Chile, chile verde y chile rojo. Ajá, y tal. Exactly. So, wow. Es, es dulce. Sí, es mm. sweet. Muy bien. So, what is the meaning of bananas? Bananas. No son guineos. ¿no? Plátanos. Plátanos. Plátano. Or we can also say fried bananas. Plátanos, le llamamos también fried bananas, ¿ok? Plátanos fritos. Plátanos fritos. Una ah, pregunta. Tell me. ¿Cómo podemos diferenciar el guineo que nosotros conocemos aquí como el plátano? Así en inglés, porque bananas, nosotros podemos decir, tengo una banana. Uh -huh. No sé de qué manera podríamos diferenciarlo ahí en okay. inglés. Ok, we can use this one, fried bananas. Podríamos usar este para plátano, porque casi siempre lo comemos frito, ¿verdad? Fried bananas, mm -hmm. fried bananas, and bananas. But in this case, if you are curious, you can notice, miren, si se fijan acá, en la imagen, ¿qué tenemos? ¿Qué es esto? Fried bananas, right? Bananas. Bananas. Son plátanos, son plátanos. Fried bananas. Fried bananas. Yeah. Okay. But they are calling it bananas. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo preferiría que llamemos fried bananas. And who raised their hand? ¿Quién levantó la mano? Let me check. Carlos Villalobos, tell me. Uh -huh. Preguntas, Carlos. Hola, hola. Hola, teacher. Este, dice que le quería consultar nada más. Estamos hablando ahí con, con Joana y nos surgió una duda. En el caso de, de, digamos, comidas que para nosotros son conocidas, como por ejemplo la sopa de res, que nosotros lo decimos acá, <risa> al decir nosotros en inglés, ¿cómo sería este, para mencionarla? Con, sopa eh, de res. Ajá. Porque nosotros decíamos, bien. ¿verdad? La sopa de, de, de goles decíamos bean soap. Para nosotros. Vale, entonces, ¿cómo traducimos o de qué otra manera llamamos a la res en español? Eso es lo que no, no le damos, porque nosotros estamos viendo ayer que decíamos meat o beef, que eran beef, carne era que meat o beef. Ahí vamos. So, beef. Uh -huh. beef. Era beef. Entonces sería beef, so. Exacto. There you are. Oh, okay. uh -huh. And take a look at this one. Look at what we have here. United States. Respondí la pregunta, pero bien lo ¿sí? ¿No? Voy a tratar yeah, de buscar yeah. eh, comidas. No estoy echarlo porque antes que arruin. Mira, ponerle más comida aquí, a ver por qué la Your microphone's glass. Okay, what is this? What we have here? United States. Pastries. ¿Qué es ¿Cómo lo traduciríamos entonces? Pastries. Bread. Pan dulce. Pan dulce, puede ser. Llamémosle pastries. Al pan dulce, ok. No. Sweet bread. Mm. Ok, nada. No. Llamémosle pastries. Sí. O repostería. Pastries. Very good. So let me ask you, what do you have for breakfast? Aquí está la pregunta, empecemos a practicar. Marlon, what do you have for breakfast? Or what do you usually have for breakfast? Currently, um, I prepare my breakfast, um, sometimes cereals and meal. Okay. And maybe I prepare the eggs and with... Um, with, um, uh, I don't know, with beans. 
um, maybe take a um, drink coffee. To drink coffee, very good. Coffee. You are Salvadorian people. We drink coffee. Rebecca, yeah. what do you have for breakfast? Thank you, Mama. What do you have for breakfast, Rick? I have for breakfast coffee, eggs, eggs rice, and beans. That's it. How about drink? What do you drink? Coffee. Coffee, okay. Jose Armando, tell me about you. Thank you, Rebecca. Jose Armando, what do you have for breakfast? Uh, <laughs> I, my breakfast and pantry. Coffee. Right. Okay, coffee. Como decimos a veces? Como digo a veces en inglés? Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, sometimes. Sometimes cereal with milk. Cereal with milk, okay. Great. How about Eric? What do you have for breakfast? Uh, I like it's for breakfast. Uh, cereal with milk. Okay, cereal with milk. And fresh fruit. Fresh fruit, very good. Orange juice. Mm -hmm. Coffee. Mm -hmm. And pastry. Pas wow. You Pastra. have like a United States. But wait, class. Nadia me mencionado. What do you have for breakfast? Somos salvadoreños. What do people in El Salvador have for breakfast? In my case, currently in the morning, I I think that I don't eat to put. You don't eat to put. Why? Are you no. on a diet? No, I think that it is delicious when you eat pupusas at uh -huh. night. At night, because at night. I don't know. I think that is 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 more is better. Because I can eat during breakfast, even lunch or dinner. I eat pupusas because I love pupusas. Really? Yes, why yeah. not? <laughs> why? Because, I don't know, it's just like a normal stuff for Salvadorian people. It's like a normal, no? Yeah, no, I, am, pupusas I, much. I am. Yes. I am yes. growing in Salvador. I am yeah. growing in Salvadorian, but I don't eat in the lunch pupusas. How about you, Cristina? <laughs> Usually eat pupusas in diner. Okay. At night. For breakfast, no? Who eats pupusas mm -hmm. during breakfast? I no? eat pupusas in breakfast. I like it. I like it, right? I like pupusas in breakfast. I like pupusas it. Pupusas is all time. Pupusas and con que combinamos las pupusas? Coffee. Coffee. Chocolate. Chocolate. Ah, eso quiero aclararlo. Chocolate. Chocolate. No, no le llamamos Coffee. chocolate. No. ¿Cómo se dice chocolate? Sería la barra. <laughs> chocolate. Like a candy. Esto es un okay. candy. Chocolate en, en, chocolate. en English. Líquido. Cocoa. Drink chocolate. Oh, ni siquiera lleva la palabra. ¿Cómo? Chocolate. Cocoa. Yes. ¿Cómo se dice? Hot cocoa. Cocoa, Hot cocoa. pero no se pronuncia la cocoa. cocoa. Mm -hmm. Interesting, okay. right? Quite interesting. Interesante, pero cierto. So, no digamos, I need pupusas and chocolate. Me van a dar una barra de chocolate. No. <laughs> no. no. A veces hacemos la traducción bien literal. En este caso, no. Class. With soda. With soda. <laughs> okay. With soda. Eso sí es de salvadoreños. ¿Sí? Desayuno de Pero más que todo para la cena, porque en el desayuno no voy a tomar soda con pupusas. O tomo café o tomo chocolate. Desayuno de albañil. Los albañiles de por sí toman soda en la mañana. Con la champán. Con la champán, right? Oh, it's, the, it's delicious. Y no son gordos. And they are fit, exacto. No sé qué hacen. Preguntémosle. Es la sudada que dan. La sudada que dan. Exacto. So imagine, imagine that. So what have we learned? ¿Qué aprendimos ahora? So ¿Qué aprendimos? Tell me. What the different some and so, any. And any. Some, any. Um, 
We use any um, in negative sentences and we use some in affirmative sentences. And for questions, Ana Maria, for questions or interrogative, what do we use? Any. Muy bien. We have the use of some and any and breakfast. So please, ¿cuál es su tarea de bien adelante? De escribir todo lo que están comiendo. Así pueden practicar más vocabulario, qué es lo que tienen en la mañana, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner at night. Okay? Practice a lot. ¿Y qué es no la pronunciación? ¿Qué hacemos? Usemos nuestras herramientas tecnológicas. Okay? Vamos al traductor y nos da la pronunciación que tiene bien correcta, bien acertada. Okay? Si no, pues, diccionario, pero ahí no podemos escuchar. Coach, Aunque I'm sorry, escuchar. teacher. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, what is the difference in currently and usually? Currently, it's at the moment. Usually, yeah. it's like sometimes. That happens like not on a regular base. But we are going to cover that tomorrow, okay? No se pierdan mañana. Y vamos a repasar, okay? The last topic for tomorrow. Okay. Advert of frequency. Ese es el último tema. Para mañana. No pudimos cubrirlo, pero mañana. Okay, so questions class. Okay. No? If not, we are going no, to stop the class here. Thank you so much for Thank joining. You. Hasta se me olvidó la gripe, ya ven. Bye. What gripe? Gracias. Good night. Good night. Bye. Have a great night. Bye bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, exactly. Bye bye.